What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So tonight marks the night that undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney turns 29 wins, no losses, no draw. Keyword is still 15 wins by way of knockout. 23 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch homage. He's going to go into the rematch with former unified lightweight world champion, Australian star boxer, George Cambosis Jr., who will now be 20 wins, two losses, no draws, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is 29 years of age, five foot nine with a 68 inch homage, okay? They will be fighting tonight. It's in Australia. So it's actually Sunday in Australia tonight. And I wanted to give you guys my final prediction and breakdown of this fight and how I see it playing out. And I actually see Devin Haney dominating the same way. Repeat performance of what took place in, you know, uh, the first fight, June 4th, here in the States, June 5th in Australia, when Devin Haney pitched the shutout, dominated the performance, and beat George Cambosis Jr., okay? Um, this time, uh, it'll be a repeat performance, but George Cambosis will get dropped in this fight, okay? Um, Devin Haney will have a knockdown. That's going to be the difference in this fight, is that Devin Haney will knock down George Cambosis. Opposed to the last fight, uh, he just pitched the shutout and he won the fight. What I have been telling people is that you're not gonna see a different version of Devin Haney uh, in order to see what you deem to be a different version of Devin Haney, you need to see a different version of George Cambosis Jr. If George Cambosis Jr., it depends on George Cambosis Jr., right? Because Devin Haney is the superior boxer. He's the superior athlete, okay? Uh, let's just, you know, this is no knock to George Cambosis. I'm just calling it what it is, okay? He's a better uh, uh, athlete and he's a better boxer than Cambosis. Quick and twitch fiber muscles, high ring IQ, uh, and he's more defensively uh, savvy and slicker than George Cambosis. He's just physically more imposing than George Cambosis, okay? And so with that said, George Cambosis, uh, uh, if he's hesitant and don't want to be active and don't let his hands go, it'll be a repeat of the first fight. If George Cambosis, what I believe is the reason why he's going to suffer a knockdown is because his change in mentality is going to be, I got to be more aggressive. He's going to open up in this fight more than he did in the uh, um, first fight. Uh, and he's going to, you know, take more chances, which is going to give Devin Haney uh, the mindset, the adjustment, and the ring IQ to turn on to let his right hand go more often. Devin Haney could have let his right hand go uh, way more than he did in the first fight uh, and clip George Campbell with, with the right hand, but he didn't see a need to. Uh, nor did I, because he never had to take the, he never had to take his foot off. The, uh, uh, he never had to put his foot on the gas. Never had to take the car out of the first gear, right? He was in cruise control, right? Uh, and there was no high revving. The engine was doing just fine. The oil was changed. The clutch was fine. It wasn't smoking and it wasn't uh, burning out. He could stay in first gear the whole ride. And that's exactly what he did. He didn't need to come out of first gear. Now, if George Cambosis gets aggressive, then Devin Haney will need to get out of first gear, but that's going to work against George Cambosis. Either which way, it's not going to work in favor of George Cambosis. If George Cambosis decides to sit back, he 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 has no wins. Okay, you have to be in it to win it, and you cannot sit back and play the boxing game and uh, you know uh, um, the chess match with Devin Haney. You're going to lose every single time. Okay, and lose very convincingly and very big and very clean. And that's what happened with George Cambos in the first fight. You have to attempt to get aggressive, uh, throw multiple combinations and hope one gets through. Like uh, Jorge Linares in the end of the 10th round of Devin Haney's fight with well, Linares got a right hand in, uh, 10 seconds left in the round out of a multiple punch combination or so, and it clipped Devin Haney, right? That's your only chances. You gotta throw caution in the wing. Uh, for the most part, when you play a chess match with Devin Haney, he sees everything, okay? He's 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 two steps ahead of you, okay? He sees everything. He's two steps ahead of you of, 
um, all his opponents and his reflexes are bar none. He's very slick, high ring IQ, and more importantly, he has the best jab in boxing. You're not gonna out jab Devin Haney. He has the best jab in boxing. So uh, seeing as though he has the best jab in boxing, you're not going to out jab him, okay? It's going to leave you in a very, very, uh, uh, um, you know, a tough position. And when you're George Gambosis, who doesn't even have, you know, he has 68 inch armies. Uh, Devin Haney is 72, might be longer than that. So he could touch you from a distance where he's safe, but you're not. That's a problem. And he has a stick and he has the, the mentality that I'm going to be victorious. I'm not going, I'm not here to prove to the crowd or to anybody that I can fight in a certain manner. I'm here to get the victory. And when you have that approach, you're here to get the victory. Well, guess what? You're going to get the victory, right? If, especially if your opponents don't have the physical attributes to compete with you or the mindset and mentality to throw caution in the wind to secure, uh, 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 to attempt to secure victory. So it's all about George Cambosis and what Cambosis does. That's why I said, you know, uh, uh, the fight can look very similar to the first one or it can look uh, slightly different. And I think that in a position that George Cambosis is uh, 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 particularly in currently as it stands with him, uh, um, you know, where else does he go at 29? And he's already stated that if he loses, he's going to retire. So if you have that mindset that if I lose, I'm going to retire, which means you, you, you're putting all your eggs in this one basket and you got to be victorious. And, you know, when you lose, when you get knocked out, it's, it's more easy to digest, to accept. When you get outboxed and outclassed and just dominated for 12 rounds, it's hard to accept because